In the dense forests of Michigan, tales of an enigmatic creature known as the Dogman have circulated for decades. With reports dating back to the 1800s, the legend of this half-man, half-dog monster has cast a shadow of fear and intrigue over the area. This is the true story of the Dogman. It was a misty evening in 1987 when local hunter Bob Mason embarked on one of his usual outings. The forest was eerily silent, the kind of quiet that makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Bob was an experienced hunter, having spent countless hours in these woods, but on this particular night, something felt off. As he moved deeper into the foliage, he noticed the unusual absence of animal sounds. No chirping of crickets, no rustling of leaves by small creatures, just an unsettling silence. Bob reached a clearing bathed in pale moonlight and decided to set up his watch for any movement. He had heard the stories of the dogman but dismissed them as mere folklore and campfire tales until that night. Suddenly, a low growl echoed through the clearing. Bob's heart pounded as he scanned the area with his flashlight. The beam flickered over the trees, revealing nothing out of the ordinary. Then, from the corner of his eye, he saw a pair of glowing yellow eyes watching him from the darkness. Paralyzed with fear, Bob struggled to keep his composure. The eyes moved closer, and from the shadows emerged a creature unlike anything he had ever seen. It stood on two legs, towering at least seven feet tall, with the muscular build of a human but covered in coarse fur. Its head resembled that of a fearsome wolf, with sharp fangs glinting under the moonlight. The creature let out another menacing growl, sending shivers down Bob's spine. Just as quickly as it appeared, the dogman disappeared back into the woods, leaving Bob in a state of shock. He fled the forest, vowing never to return after sunset. Bob's encounter was just one of many sightings reported over the years. Hikers, campers, and locals have claimed to witness the dogman lurking in the shadows, always vanishing before anyone could get too close. Skeptics argue that the dogman is merely a figment of the imagination, a product of overactive minds conditioned by myths and legends. However, the consistency of the descriptions and the genuine terror in the voices of those who have seen it add a chilling credibility to the tale. In recent years, efforts have been made to capture evidence of the dogman's existence. Trail cameras and night vision equipment have been set up in the forest. While no definitive proof has been captured, there have been unexplained anomalies, strange footprints, eerie howls, and blurred figures caught on camera. Scientists and cryptozoologists continue to study these findings, hoping to unlock the mystery of the dogman. Whether it is a paranormal entity, a yet-to-be-classified species, or something entirely supernatural, the legend of the Dogman endures. It has become a staple of Michigan's folklore, a chilling reminder that some mysteries are never fully explained. As the forest continues to cloak its secrets in shadows, the story of the Dogman lives on, whispered among those brave enough to venture into the unknown.